Okay, so look at Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway at Torneon by 9. Okay, so this is probably the hardest game I've had to get to run at Torneon by 9, purely because of the number of times I've managed to mess up getting the fix to work. But I'll explain extremely clearly in the description how to do the fix yourself, as the fixes I found elsewhere were not clear enough. I made too many mistakes. First up, the native game support does support Torneon by 9 well. The main menu and in-game menu are torn on by 9. Cutscenes and loading screens are 16 by 9 with black bars, but that's far better than the stretched or zoomed alternatives. And even the HUD scales to fit the torn on by 9 screen. Literally the only thing that isn't supported at torn on by 9 is the actual gameplay. It does technically work, but at torn on by 9 the FOV is still at 60, which means that you're ba it's basically unplayable as it's so zoomed in. And so with no FOV slider, you have to resort to some config editing. But don't worry, my step-by-step -step guide down in the description should leave no questions as to how to do it. First up, you must fix the FOV of the game when you have your gun at the hip. So in example, you are not aiming down the sights. Now, if you just want to make your FOV increase to the one set FOV of, say, maybe 110, which is the one I'm using, then you do method 1 in the description. This will make your FOV 110 for both when you're aiming down the sights and when you're not aiming down the sights. This is actually my setup for the gameplay that you see in the, see in the background. However, many people will like the ability to increase your FOV when you aim down the sights. So for this, follow method 2 in the description. This way you can have a larger FOV for normal firing from the hip and a lower FOV when aiming down the sights. Now the last point to make is that cutscenes are in-game, so they are directly impacted by your FOV changes. You can click the your FOV key during a cutscene and literally the FOV will change while you're watching, so it's a bit weird. The problem is that cutscenes are made for an FOV of 60, so anything higher and you see stuff you shouldn't see, such as people popping in, random glitching and all this random stuff that would normally be hidden from the viewer. So to solve this issue, you can bind another key to the FOV of 60 so that when a cutscene occurs, you just hit that key on your keyboard and you can watch the cutscene as it was originally intended. For details on this cutscene FOV change ability, look at method 3 in the description. My setup, which I advise you use, is either you do method 1 and method 3 or you can do method 2 and method 3 but it's advisable you do at least two of the methods because you the cutscenes do look very odd when you're at an extremely high FOV. I hope that gives you some information on how the game runs at 21 by 9 Try and get your game running at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful. And for any other games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below or inbox me and I'll try and cover it. Have a good day.
Take cover! Grenade! Deploy the bazooka there. Let's go. Okay, moving. Going. Germans right up ahead. Keep up the fire! Close to me. Get out of the open, Baker! 
I'm in position! Everybody stay low or you'll be down too!